Hello, welcome to another review. Right, today we've got something a little bit different. Um, I'll give you a little bit of a background story before I go into the beer. Um, I've got a few books and I was like, oh, going through things and one really caught my eye. Um, so this beer is from Mexico. Um, and this was before the recent events, tragic events in Mexico City, which is, you know, my heart goes out to to them guys and girls out there. Um, anyway, sidetracked again on a sidetrack. Um, so I picked this beer out in one of these books and I've done a little research about it. And then I found out that it was available at Beers of Europe. And I've got a friend, good friend Dan, who goes once a week. Um, he's moved away from the Fanet area, but he still comes down once a week anyway because he's got he's still got family relatives here. So great. So I said to him, I said, and I realised that he actually had the beer when I looked through on an untapped. Um, I was like, can you get this beer for me? He's like, yeah, no problem. Brought it round. Oh, no problem. Don't worry about it. Great. Thanks very much, Dan. I really appreciate it. But it's a really interesting one. Anyway, it's called Original C. And it's their cave. Look at this. There we go. Try and get it like that. It's called Cave Creek Chili Beer. Cerveza con Chile. Cerveza with chili. I mean, it's actually got a chili. It looks like a bloody caterpillar in the beer um, so looking on untapped it's coming out across a spice stroke herb beer it's coming in at 4.2% ABV it's in a clear bottle um, 330ml bottle best before the 21st of October of 2017 so the brewery is called Cerve. Let me try and get this right. Cervecera Mexica Me Me Mexicana. So I think that's how you pronounce it. So this is a premium lager beer with chili, chili pepper added, brewed and bottled by Cervecera Mexi Mexicana uh, out of Mexico. So. There's the bottle cap. This will be an interesting one to try. I'm in the middle of a hangout and I'm going to try chili beer. That is the heat from the bottle. It's quite an interesting bottle uh, design as well. That, that was more of a, I think it's a screw top. So I've just clean this glass out of water because I've used it just now. Right, this thing in the glass, hopefully it won't melt the glass. Let's try and generate, look at this thing here, look. The chilli is right in the neck there, look. There it goes. A bit of floaties coming off that chilli, I guess. It's a very, well, it's a filtered beer, very clear. Hear that fizzing away? Very clear, kind of, yeah, light, light straw colour. Looks like a lager, basically. And the head has dissipated completely. Hmm. Whether the chili infusedness has done anything to that, who knows? Let's get an aroma then. Bloody hell. You're picking up the chili big time on the aroma. It smells like that. Um, You know, the, the Dorito sauce you get. The red one. The chilli Dorito sauce. That's what it smells like. 
slightly kind of meaty as well. Sun dried tomatoes, onion, onion, garlic, that kind of thing. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Wish me luck. And going, and going, and ramping up. Yeah, that is a spicy beer for sure. Wow. Let's just throw this in violently and drink it straight away. You think it's okay and then it, it slowly builds and builds and even to this point, five, ten seconds after, it's leaving a, a slight numbingness on the tongue. This is a very kind of um, acquired taste. If you don't like spicy foods, you're not going to like this beer. If you're a bit of a curry fan, you're going to like this. You really will. Wow, that is, and it's still there. It's still round. What a different beer this is. Love trying new things. Definitely a, a, a very. There's definitely a meaty quality to it. Reminds me of a chili con carne. It's got that kind of vibe to it. That and that kind of salsa, Dorito kind of chili salsa dip kind of thing going on. Very spicy. One of these bit. This is up my street. It's just so different to get these flavours in a beer. I've not too, had too many chilli beers, but yeah, this one is, uh, I'm liking this. This goes great with a curry or... Well, you couldn't drink too many, I don't think, because uh, you might be in a little bit of pain uh, by the end of the night, or certainly in the morning. Um, it's a novelty beer, I'd say, but... Um, I'm glad I've tried it. It's probably the best beer from Mexico I've ever had. So this is the original C from Cerveza Mexicana. Uh, this is their Cave Creek Chili Beer Cerveza Con Chile. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably not. Premium Lager Beer with Chili Pepper added at 4.2% ABV. Um, would I buy it again? Do you know what? I think I would. Just for something different. It's definitely not something you drink every day. If I saw this in a bar, I'd, I'd probably, depending on what else is around, or if you're with some mates and stuff, I'll oh, try that. I'd give it a go for a laugh, you know? It's not horrible. That's the thing. If you've got a bit of a kind of you like your curries and stuff like that, and you, you know, you oh, hot spicy Doritos or salsa. If you like salsa, you're gonna love this beer. It's one of them. Definitely different, out of the box. Typically Mexican. Um, as for a rating, then, I mean, how do you rate a beer like this? It's just like something that I've never had before. 
overall, um, like I said, it's not something you're gonna. You can't session it. You cannot session that unless you're just. I mean, I'm starting to feel burn in the chest as well, and it's not the ABV. Um, I think overall, I'll give it maybe a six. In the style, I mean, wow, that's really poking, packing a punch, even poking a punch. It's really packing a punch. I'll give this. Not that I've had many styles of this beer, so I've got really nothing to go by. But I'd give it probably an eight in in the chili beer style. Um, yeah, an interesting one. Makes makes a right change. <coughs> and you're picking the chili up on the burp as well. Interesting. So you've had this beer before from Salvation Mexicana. And this is the Cave Creek Chili Beer, Cerveza Con Chili. Let me know what you think about it. Thank you again, Dan, for uh, bringing this uh, hot beer around. Um, I don't know when I'm posting it, but I'm reviewing this on the 29th of September. That's it. I've done a tasting night the other night, and he wasn't there. He, he was on well, mate. So. By the time I post this, you'll probably be fine anyway. So, hope you get better work. Well, uh, hope you get well soon, my friend. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And I'll see you on the next beer review. Cheers. <laughs>